Hey folks, Hilton Riggins here with Heartland RVs, your Bighorn Regional Sales Manager. Today, we're going to do a walk around on one of our newest floor plans, which is our 3500 SC. So let's get right into it, and we're going to show you why this floor plan is unique. One of the first things that we've done with this floor plan is we incorporated an outside kitchen. That's something that that retail buyer for Bighorn has been looking for for the last two years. So first off, we've got a 2.2 cubic foot refrigerator, lots of nice space inside, stainless steel with that clear glass door. Secondly, what you're gonna have is a pull-out cooktop burner here. You got two burners all together there. When not in use, you just slide it up and out of the way. And then also we incorporated a 32-inch TV so that outside entertainment viewing. All right, next what I wanna talk to you about is uh, a sidewall itself, okay? This is a high gel coat wall. It's a double Luan with a block foam insulation, and it's all aluminum studs throughout. And what that's gonna do is give you a real nice, sturdy, solid construction to really help to maintain the integrity of the coach itself. Next is gonna be your frameless windows, okay? Awesome thing about these are, they're gonna be tinted for one, and then number two, you don't have to worry about any of those black streaks that you might get from your standard windows today. Next is gonna be the graphics themselves. These do a really good job. They have what's called a sunbrella material that's actually built in. These right here are actually uh, non-fadable, so they're gonna last a lot longer than your typical um, graphite out there, so they do have some protection against the sun slash the elements. Next, I wanna talk to you about is the awning itself, okay? We put one of the largest ones on in the industry. It's a 17-foot awning. Cool thing about this is it's actually automatically controlled from inside. It's got power to it so they can extend out, cover all your, uh, your picnic tables, your tables, and keep you from that sun up top or maybe even that rain if you're outside in that too. All right, next what I'd like to talk to you about is the basement. So let's open up these doors and check inside. One of the things you'll notice right out the back is we use a one inch baggage door, so that helps with the insulation value, okay? Uh, secondly, you're gonna notice there's a lot of storage space inside. So we give you 184 square cubic feet across the board. If you look inside, you'll see that everything's clean, nice and finished. Also, when you notice inside, if you look inside, you're gonna notice that the, the roof itself is actually finished. That's something that's actually unique for Heartland slash Bighorn, okay? The reason why we do that is, is so that you can get that increased insulation value so that if you get up in the middle of the night, maybe that bathroom floor won't be as cold and also keeps that bedroom nice and cozy too, all right? Secondly, nice hard pan finish downs here. You also got forced there into the underbelly. Then we also gonna give you your cable and power outlets on each side of it. Then we also have some tie downs where you can um, you know, basically keep those things that you don't want moving when you're traveling. The other thing I like to say is, hey, you could take old Rex, that puppy, that dog that you got, you could tie him to this too as well. He's not going anywhere. Okay, next what I'd like to talk about is two things, outside speakers and also your propane tanks. The speakers themselves, these are actually Jensen speakers, real nice sound quality, which are gonna be controlled from your stereo system inside. So you could be playing uh, the TV out here or you can actually be playing the radio, vice versa. Real nice two speakers upgraded by Jensen itself. Also is your uh, 30 pound propane tanks. You actually have two of these, one here and the other one's gonna be on the opposite side of the coach itself. Um, it also comes with the automatic crossover so when this one runs empty, it actually crosses over to the one that's on the other side that'll be full. Uh, we also um, made the doorway big enough so that you can actually upgrade to your 40 pound tanks. A lot of times we see that uh, for that retail buyer that's looking for um, to install a generator uh, so they can get that additional um, 40 pound capacity. All right, next what I'd like to talk to you about is the six point level up system. Really awesome feature, comes standard on all of the big horns across the board. The real awesome thing about this is it'll level out this whole, this whole entire coach in about 55 seconds. So let's get to it and show you how it actually works, okay? All right, so first thing you do is you come over here and you hit your down jacks here in the front, your two stokes. You're gonna raise up the unit itself, pull the truck away, then you come back and you hit auto level, step away from the unit, and it'll level out the entire coach in about 55 seconds. No more getting down there and have to deal with those cranks or that drill that you guys are having to use Save that back. But one of my favorite features on this unit is 
the actual uh, hitch height. And what that does is it raises up the uh, coach back to the exact same height when it was hooked up to the truck. Back your truck in, you don't have to worry about doing that eyeballing it. Hook your truck up, raise up your front jacks, lift up the other four, and we off to our next destination. Okay, next what we're gonna talk about is the convenience center itself. So let's just get to it. As you notice, everything right here is essentially located in a real nice spot for easy access. All right, right off the bat, you can have your inlets, your inputs for your satellite from the roof and also going inside the coach itself. You're gonna have your outdoor shower, which is a really nice feature, okay? Then you're also gonna have your selector valve for when your uh, water, uh, water hose is actually hooked up to it. So you can go to dry camping, your tank itself, the city, and also if you're um, winterizing the coach as well, okay? You got your black tank flush. Also, you're gonna have your uh, hot water bypass, which is when you're trying to winterize it, you can bypass that hot water so that, um, um, that detergent isn't actually going into the hot water itself. Um, besides that, also you're gonna have is your, um, your uh, flush valves for your tanks. Um, you got your first two gonna be your gray tanks, which are 45 gallons a piece. And then your one down below that, which is your black tank. That one's also gonna be a 45 um, gallon as well. Over here on the uh, outside wall, you have your input for your cable. And we also give you two sockets for your power on this side. And then we also provide you with a light. So if you're trying to come over here at nighttime, you got ample um, lighting as well. All right, next what I'd like to talk to you about is our furnace and also your hot water heater. First, starting off with your furnace, we use the largest um, available furnace in the industry, which has 42,000 BTUs. So what that entails or what that's actually gonna help you do is maintain that desired temperature inside in those cold uh, winter months. When you're looking at your hot water heater itself, we use a 12 gallon with a quick recovery, okay? And what that entails is it's gonna give you hot water back in about 16 minutes if you run it empty which is a really nice, awesome feature if you got that person that loves to take that 20 minute shower. Okay, next what I'd like to talk to you about is your power cord reel, as you can see what we have here, okay? Awesome thing about this is the keyword power. Real nice feature, it's an option that's available on all Bighorns, but we pretty much put this on every single unit going out outdoors today. Real simple, easy to use. Uh, you've got your uh, retract, and release button over here on the side. Okay, you got your power cord here too as well, which is 35 feet long. And if you ever had to try to roll up that cord when it's 20 degrees outside, that cord becomes really heavy and it doesn't bend. Real nice feature to have on your units. And we'll be happy to add that to any big cord going out outdoors today.